So we are here in Turin, in, in Italy, and we are part of a project for urban sustainability uh, for Jarvis Plus. And can you present yourself and tell us more about you? Hi, I am Ilaria and I'm the coordinator of the project uh, from Italy. Uh, I'm uh, working in uh, Associazione Eufemia, which is an organization, a non-profit organization, uh, which is uh, in Turin, based in Turin. And we work mainly in educational projects, both in local and international level. And we work also on local projects related to non-formal methods, also for robots. So we work uh, a lot in terms of uh, environmental protection and uh, education put together and also in democracy and uh, human rights related uh, projects. Um, we've worked in the past in schools uh, in projects that aim to um, discourage the abandon, the dropout of in, in early school age like middle school and the early age of, um, superior, of uh, high school and recently since 2012 we run a project that is uh, actually now copies if we can say like that uh, in different uh, projects in uh, Europe, in Germany, in Romania and uh, I don't remember where else but it's about collection of unsold food in farmers markets uh, it's a project that is meant to put together Gather different needs. First of all, the need of families who are in poorer conditions and maybe they also have poorer condition of nutrition and families that might also have just some little problems, not big problems. Um, the market, the farmers market who are normally people who uh, waste a lot of food in the weekends because they don't have maybe good veggies good to be sold on Monday but still may be good to be eaten and also uh, to increase the participation of those families who are often outside of the network of solidarity. So through this project we really uh, put together different needs and try to make people more aware of the, what they can eat and the fact that they can reduce food waste. And out of this project um, we also run Erasmus Plus projects on the different topics we mentioned before. So can you tell us more about your expectation of the project? Yeah. Um, do you have some did you have some concerns or uh, well this project was born by a group of young people from Torino who participate in different youth exchanges and in this particular case in a training course on how to write a good project mm -hmm. so we worked together and I was happy to accompany them because actually most of the ideas were coming from them and was and they were thought for uh, their peers. Um, my concerns were about uh, the organization because uh, they had different interests, so it was not easy in the beginning to put together their ideas in something that could be coherent also according to the Erasmus Plus uh, objectives and goals. Uh, but we managed to create something that is quite harmonic and we expect it to uh, be also in the long run useful for people who took part, uh, maybe to understand a little bit bit more about the topics and to engage themselves because one of the main goals of Erasmus Plus is to make people uh, becoming active citizens in their own countries. So farther than go and traveling and meeting other people from Europe, the main goal is also to make people activate in local level. Uh, there would be no sense in making Erasmus Plus projects if we wouldn't have also the local part of the activities. That is the, uh, probably the most relevant because it's gonna keep and um, touch most people rather than single participants. And how much time does the preparation take? Well, because we it's really the organization part, it's really great, you're well prepared and we're so happy to be here. Um, we started to work about this in June 2017, so it's one year of preparation. Uh, we started with the ideas that became a first draft of the project, then we tried with a second draft which actually was the one who was approved in February and we've been working since the real logistic preparation since uh, late March, beginning of April. As, as soon as we knew that the project had been approved, we started working because the time was really short and we wanted it to be a, uh, a good one. But thankfully the um, network of organizations that were involved in already were in our network of partners, so it was 
quite an easy thing to get them to get again together and create the conditions to create this project and make it work. And uh, now when the, the project is almost finished, what do you think of how the emotions and your... Well, of course I'm tired because it has been a long journey, but I'm happy of the results of the outcome that we got out of the participants. Um, there was a general good participation, uh, some nice uh, inspiration, some points of maybe improving because of course uh, we are all here to learn from others so for sure there will be something that can be improved for the next uh, steps but uh, what I saw in this project is that people really want to talk about these things they are really getting passionate about and probably we will think about a second part of the same project for the next year we will work on that somebody already mentioned when we are gonna have urban sustainability part two let's see <laughs> So, okay, thank you so much for Thank your you. participation and see you. <laughs>